Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Sunday, February the 14th. It's the first Sunday in Lent, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 103, Daniel chapter 9, verse 3 to 10, and a canticle from Judith, chapter 16, verse 2, and 13 through 16. And please join me in singing the second verse of Lord Who Throughout These Forty Days. As thou with Satan did contend, and did the victory win, O oh, give us strength in thee to fight, in thee to conquer sin. O oh, God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Bless the Most High, my soul, and all that is within me. Bless God's holy name. Psalm 103. And please recite it with me. Bless the Most High, my soul, and all that is within me. Bless God's holy name. Bless the Most High, my soul, and do not forget God's blessings, who forgives all my iniquities, who heals all my diseases, who redeems my life from destruction, who crowns me with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies my hunger with good things, so that my youth is renewed like the eagles. You, my God, execute righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. You made known your ways to Moses, your acts to the children of Israel. You are loving and gracious, slow to anger and full of mercy. You will not always chide, nor will you be angry forever. You have not dealt with us as we deserve, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is your mercy toward those that fear you. As far as the east is from the west, so far have you removed our transgressions from us. Like parents who take pity upon their children, so you love them that fear you. For you know of what we are made, and remember that we are dust. As for the children of the earth, their days are like grass. As the flowers of the field, so they flourish. And then the wind passes over, and they are gone and that place shall know them no more. But your mercy is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear you, and your righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep your covenant, and to those that remember to do your commandments. You have prepared your throne in the heavens, and your kingdom rules over all. Bless the Most High, you angels that excel in strength, that do God's commandments, listening to God's word. Bless the Most High, all God's hosts, you ministers of God that do God's pleasure. Bless the Most High, all God's works, in all places of God's dominion. Bless the Most High, my soul. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Bless the Most High, my soul, and all that is within me. Bless God's holy name. A reading from the prophet Daniel, chapter 9, beginning at verse 3. Then I, Daniel, turned to the Most High God to seek an answer by prayer and supplication, with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. And I prayed to Yahweh my God and made confession, saying, Ah, Lord, great and awesome God, keeping covenant and steadfast love with those who love you and keep your commandments. We have sinned and done wrong, acted wickedly and rebelled, turning aside from your commandments and ordinances. We have not listened to your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, and our ancestors, and to all the people of the land. 
Righteousness is on your side, O Lord, but open shame, as at this day, falls on us, the people of Judah, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and all Israel, those who are near and those who are far away, in all the lands to which you have driven them, because of the treachery that they have committed against you. Open shame, O Most High, falls on us, our kings, our officials, and our ancestors, because we have sinned against you. To the Most High, our God, belong mercy and forgiveness, for we have rebelled against him. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your slave saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And let's recite the canticle together. Begin a new song to my God with timbrels. Sing to my God with cymbals. Sing to God a new psalm. Exalt God and call upon God's name. I will sing to you a new song. You, O God, are great and glorious wonderful in strength and invincible. Let all creatures serve you, for you spoke and they were made. You sent forth your spirit and it created them, and there is none that can resist your voice. For the mountains shall be moved from their foundations with the waters. The rocks shall melt like wax at your presence, yet you are merciful to them that fear you. For all sacrifice is too little for a sweet savor to you, and all the fat is not sufficient for your burnt offering. But they that fear you are great at all times. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.